bad day, it's viral here. Um, a couple days ago, I believe it was, I made a guide for a Ranger Marksman hybrid, and I decided to, I said I was going to make a PvP video showing how I played it. So this is just going to be a video of uh, Warfront, I believe I played Carthen Ridge in this one, yeah. So I'm just going to show you how I play it, um, the mechanics involved in it, uh, where you should keep your bleeds up, where you use headshot and all that, as I explained in the previous video. Um, so yeah, this is just going to be a match of me showing how to play that build if you didn't understand or just want a better understanding. So in this match I went, I got into Carthen Ridge and I got in mid-match, but it was it looked like he had just started because the score was 0-0, zero, zero, so time was still pumping. Um, looked at the leaderboards. I didn't recognize anyone in this game, so I, I'm not sure if this would be a fair match, but I don't. I didn't. I had no clue. So I just jumped in there. It looked like we had some healers in there. So jumped on here, and I'm looking at these guys, and I see. Uh, I try to focus down the healers, and you see, I get those bleeds up. Got to get the bleeds on there. That's a bigger thing. That's very important. Um, you want to keep those up because it's. I'll show later in the video. It's a big part of your damage. Um, also, I got headshot up as you can see, because that's probably keeping up. And you can see that. Let's see. I think it. Let's see if it can proc. See, my pet just got um. Proc, uh, proc blood rage, so I get the increased damage from that. That's why you want to keep your pet up. So, it looked like we had a pretty good team here. Um, we forced these people down when we got in here, and we were holding the mid. Although we weren't, we did not have all the bases at the moment. I think I just stayed around here in the middle for a bit. Um, just basically guarded the uh, portal. That's basically the match. Although I do overextend later, which proves, <laughs> which causes my demise. But you'll see. As you'll see. But um, right here, I don't chase that rogue because I don't want to go behind the pillar and LOS my healers. Cause it's a big part. So instead, I go after this guy instead. Shoot him down. But anyway, as you're watching the gameplay, um, yeah, I'm trying to make a. Uh, trying to be more frequent with my videos because I know I'm not making them every single day because I just do not have the time to do that but I am trying to make them as much as I can um, I tried to do an even amount of you know PvP videos like right here tried to even out with the guides as well and because um, I don't want it to just all be guides and just all PvP videos so I want there to be some variance um, I am thinking about showing a build I just made. Um, I was improvised. I, I don't know. I like screwing around with builds. Uh, it's a. Uh, I. You could run it before it was a, a Sin Nightblade hybrid. Um, the thing about it is there's a lot of dots. It's a lot of pressure. It's it's viable. It's just it may not be as good as 61 Nightblade or 61 Sin, but that's still to be determined because I've only played like. How many matches I have? I've played like a couple matches and it's done fairly well. I mean, um, you can get KBs in it because you got good burst and it's good pressure on the healers. So, yeah. as long as you have a good front um, and a good healer, you're, then you, you can cause a lot of pressure. So that's really good about it. Um, also, the thing is, you have Twilight Transcendence in that build, so it's a it's a glass cannon. You have that um, heal as a backup. You also have what I think you have blinding. So you can get a blind off. It, it's really good. I've, I've faced, a, I think I faced a sin one v one and took him down. So, but that's only one. So it'll still be at the test out further before I show it. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably end up showing it. But I'm not saying it's the best build by any means. It's just a screw around build. I think uh, I think I've shown you most of my builds now. I know I haven't showed you my bard healing one, which I could do. Later on, I think I do 30. What do I do? I think I do 30 attack, 38 bard. I believe it's it's mainly AOE healing. I mean, you can do you can make a single target healing build, but just did not choose to. Um, maybe I should do that. I could do that later on. But anyway, um, I also have I showed you that. Um, I also have I did 61 ranger before, but I got. Uh, deleted that so I could mess around with other builds because I don't know, I just found that build kind of boring. Um, it is viable, 61 Ranger is good because you have that twin shot burst which is, you can get what, like 8k, 9k crits in PvP which is insane because you get the, if you proc, 
or if you pop all your um, aggressive um, buffs at the same time. So it's all it's like I don't even remember how much of an increase it is. About 70, 80, something around there percent. So you get those huge crits. You can catch a lot of people off guard. But in my opinion, I'd rather run marksman because I don't know. I just I feel more comfortable with it. I notice I have the tendency to jump around a lot too, because I'm constantly jumping. I don't know, that's kind of a habit because I used to play WoW before this. So, uh, and I played a rogue in that game as well, so big shocker there. Uh, yeah, I was a. I played it. I think all I, yeah, all I did was PvP in that game. I just did arenas and all that. Um, I think I. I don't even remember what my rating was on, because I played in Cataclysm, Wrath of Ledge King. And I quit in Miss Pandaria because I just hated what they did to the rogue. It's just, I don't know, it wasn't any fun anymore. But, and that's why I came here. And I decided to make a rogue because, I don't know, I love rogues. I'm also in the process of making a warrior though, so we'll see how that goes. I think, oh, I think level 39 on that. Uh, it's a pain. But, yeah, if anybody ever wants to level up with me, just send me a tell or something. Or if you guys want to just do Warfront, just let me know. I'm always on. Well, not always, but a lot of the times I'm on. Again, um... Uh, I'm on deep wood, so, but we can still pair cross servers, that's fine. And uh, you don't have to be geared to play with me, I really don't care. I'll queue with anyone, you can be in all PvE gear for all I care, or just like a fresh 60, I really don't care, I'll, I'll run with anyone. So by no means do you have to be fully decked out in Marana gear to run with me, so. Because I'm mostly, a lot of the times I queue solo, I know I just... Sometimes I'll queue in a group. I don't know, I just did. Uh, it's okay. It's alright. It's fun to play solo though. But, uh, and that's where I overextended, as you can see. And I died right there. I wasn't paying enough attention there. <laughs> I kind of overextended, and um, I think there's only like two other people there. I don't even know if we had a healer with us. I was trying to. I was trying to back up and kill people at the same time, and there were still like two others that were behind me. I could have ditched them and saved myself, but I decided to try and help them, but that led to my death, so that kind of sucked. But whatever, I tried to help them, so. That's the thing about this build, there's not really any, there's not as much control as 61 Marksman. You don't have static shot. Um, can't root people, you don't have repellent shot to uh, push people back, you don't have your, uh, what's called, crossfire to push people back, um, and you don't have, I don't believe, yeah, in this build, I forgot what the name was, but in Ranger you can call that rain of arrows down to root people, I forgot what the name was, but you don't have that either, so you really do not have any control in this build, except for your dead end, which you can do twice with your quick reload, but that's really about it for your control. I mean, you got a oh god, the fudge. Right, um, you got you got repel. You got yeah. That's really you really don't have any control in this build, but you have a lot of damage, so it's this overall damage. So anyway, uh, pushing up the left side here with my team. I was getting a fair amount. Of Damage off. It seemed like a lot of these guys were skishy, but I don't know. Maybe that's because uh, I don't think they had very many healers, or they just weren't that good. I don't want to be mean, but I, they didn't seem very well. So I could easily take one down in here. Which I shouldn't be able to easily do that in this build, but but as you can see, yeah, this build has a lot of. It's putting out a lot of damage because you have what you have. <laughs> Splinter shot, barb shot, you got those AoEs, you got the shadow fire going off. You have a lot of dots as well as a lot of procs that increase your damage, so. And right there I jumped off because I saw the team coming, I didn't want to. I didn't want to take them all on because it was just me, everybody went down. So I just kind of go back to the mid and sit it out. Um, we're winning here by what is like 700 to 5, 550? Yeah. So. We're doing fairly well. I'm just basically, yeah, you know, basically I sat in the middle, just going around, killing people, helping people out. So it seems like it started to thin out. As you can see to the right, um, they started to come in. I think I wave a little bit after I kill this guy. Look him out. Yeah, see. They had a dom on their team that was getting annoying though. 
you know, and that's the thing about, oh, I should mention this, in this build you don't have strafe, so really you can become energy starved, and you really can't do anything about it except wait, so that's one flaw, because you're gonna be, this, this, um, this build can be energy starved because of its, uh, you got one empowered shadow fire which takes up a lot, and you got, you got keeping up your bleed, so, this one requires a lot of energy, but you don't have strafe to, as an ability to keep dealing damage as you're waiting for it to replenish, so that's one backfire. I mean, you could spec into it, but that's up to you. I mean, there's, you could vary, you could make a variation of the build if you wanted to, but that's up to you. Um, it seems like I was, I was, oh, I remember this part. I was trying to push up the right side, but it looked like it was just me and this two other guys. I didn't think we were gonna push up because I was, I was getting hit pretty hard. I don't know how many they had in like a can they have a big group up there. Three, four, four, three. Can't really tell. So I just ran back in the middle. So I'd take these guys out. Like I was almost dead. And some of these warriors were actually hitting pretty hard, so I had to That's where retreat and uh, shadow shift come in handy. That's why I always uh that's why I have Verse Stalker as my um sub. So I can get that jump away. This guy was trying to take me down, so I'd take him out. So Really, the blades in this build are really effective on warriors, so that's one thing I like about it as well. So, um, so compared to 62 and marksman overall, um, I would have to say 62 and marksman is the better choice because of eradicate, because you can um, that can really shut down a lot of DPS as well as um, take away some links, you know death filers and all that um so that's a big part in pvp but you're not also you have better time burst like over like um, more control burst but on this it's just more overall dps i mean still yes you get a lot of burst in this from shadow fire and empowered but it's overall dps compared to burst i mean this still is bursty but it it's not as bursty as six one marks one but it has a better overall dps so really, um, it's really preference if you just want to go for damage. I mean, you still get a lot of killing blows if you uh, run this build and you're able to time your burst, as you'll see at the end of this match. I think I go around, uh, what do I go? I think I go 30 and, 30 and 1 or something, because I freaking messed up on that overextent, which you should never do. Um, that was a newish part on me. But anyway, um... What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so this build, um, compared... So I would, it's really preference. I prefer 6-1 Marksman because of the burst, but this is fun to run every now and then because not a lot of people run this anymore. It's kind of a dead build since 6-1 Marksman got that buff. Um, so not any other people. I've seen one other person run this in a Warfront. So if you guys want to try it out and uh, increase the numbers, go ahead. I mean, it's fun. And that's the match. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, see, I go 30-1 and one there, get some decent damage and all. So, yeah, it was a good match. Um, I hope it helped explain how to play the build. If you guys, if I did a good job, uh, let me know. If you think it was interesting, if you thought the commentary was boring, because I've only done it the second time, let me know. I'll try to think of other stuff to say. But, uh, yeah, that was the Warfront. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, all right, there, I didn't, I'm capped on both marks, so I don't, I just pick a random one. But anyway, all right, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you liked the videos. Uh, so comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you again. Alright, see ya.